I completely understand because I was in this exact same situation and I thought I would not go to college because when I couldn't afford it, I didn't qualify for financial aid and I was literally new to the system. So I was like, where do I apply? Which schools are good? I got you. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's applying to college or like undergrad or grad school as an asylum seeker in the United States. Okay, I'll say number one, the first thing that got me through this was God. I could not have done this without him and having a supportive family and a supportive mom who was encouraging me all through. The second thing you want to do is apply for as many scholarships as you can while you're in high school. Look for those scholarships. Go to the counselor's office. Ask them if they have scholarships so you can apply for. I know I definitely applied for a number of scholarships in high school and I was fortunate enough to get some of them. And those really helped me start my college career. There was still some amount of money that I had to pay out of pocket. And so we paid that out of pocket, but scholarships, you know, helped. Another thing I would say is if you are an asylum seeker applying to college, public schools are going to be your best friends. I applied to public schools most of the times. The private schools either wanted more documentation that I could not provide so it was just like I either abandoned my application. So public schools. And then use the Common App. The Common App, it helped me. I literally just did one essay and submitted it to everything. So common application to apply to college, um, apply to public schools. And then the important thing is for you to just start. So when I got to college, I was able to apply to be a resident assistant and I got it. That helped pay my tuition. And then I also got married scholarship from the school. And by the grace of God, I was considered an in-state student from the college as well. So that really lowered my cost, especially because I've been living in that state for quite some time. So those three things or four things or the things I just listed, they definitely helped me apply, like apply to... Whatever state you are in, apply to the public schools in that state. But also, whenever you're applying, try to contact somebody from that school or call them to see what their policy is about. Because you don't want to process where you've accepted, they've given you a mission, you've accepted, and then you can't go because they're like, oh, we don't accept asylee or asylum seekers, which I think should be illegal because it's like, I have been here for quite some time. You take international students, why aren't you taking me? I but yeah, that is, that is what I would say.